Okay? Hopefully when we give the eye a turn, eventually it'll realize its true job and it won't keep interfering improperly. It's not a bad guy. There's just a little confusion as to who's who and what's what. They, they, they voice different, the eye world and the functioning unit world. They, they, they have a different voice. They use words different. And a, as you get the language of the functioning unit better, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to catch that. For example, a functioning unit is very honest. Functioning unit will say, this is where I'm at right now. This is what I do. You want to do more? Get out of my way and I'll mix up a better unit. But it'll never denounce itself or flagellate itself. Never. That's an I. Well, the I can range and bounce and do all kinds of weird stuff and confuse you. So I don't use the I for what should I do now? It's more like system. Ah, <sighs> what's for today? And the system will start forming. It's more honest and truthful and stuff. And you just naturally trust it, for lack of words. The I is present. Okay. So here you have a functioning unit on lineage. Da, 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 da. Here it is. You know, oh, yeah, I'm a golfer. I'm an Aikidos to some level. Okay. With accruements and attitude and whatever, whatever, whatever. Ba bam. Now the I, which has been just hanging out for a bit, is present here. Okay. Now, oh, Sensei wants for you to get clear how these two come together. And he calls that forging. Now, if you read any of his stuff, you'll see this word forge, ever forging. Forging is what he termed his process for bringing a functioning stuff of the matter world that created a, a unit and the I, whose job it is to have an experience. Now we've got a unit, the I is in the vicinity, and you want those two to come together. They're, they're supposed to come together. So, so you see the, the, this thing about saying, oh, it's too horrible here, I want out? Uh, you, you miss something important. They're supposed to work together. The I is supposed to experience different, the different dimensions of a lineage all the way through and then there's more after that. But that's a main brunt right there. Okay. Right. The eye is in the vicinity. The eye is very free, very etheric, uh, uh, a free agent, uh, a free spirit. It's, it's uh, gossamer. It's uh, whew, whew. free agent. Not encumbered. On its own, it's, it's not really encumbered. As it begins to really hang out with itself, it's, it's really free. That's going to be its job, to occupy, and by uh, occupying, have an experience. That's what its job has been from the beginning. Go ye and experience. The misunderstanding was, nobody said, go ye and take it over, see? But the eye has these little capabilities. Overdone starts to get power hungry about things. And, and now, now we're really getting out of sorts. I is present. I and the unit are forged into a very, very nice package. And we need a name to denote that package as opposed to the one, two, three, four. Here's a functioning unit. Okay. And then also with the accruements and the I present, here's where old sensei brought in fire and water. Fire heats and water cools. Fullness of fire, fullness of water. They get more balanced, starts to steam. There's a sense of steam after a bit. Steaming is forging the eye and the functioning units together very properly. Ever forging a, 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 a very, very nice package. <laughs> and we need kind of a name for that to let us know, oh, you forge. When you say, Whatever you're going to say here, we'll, we'll know you meant you've, you've forged. You're not just talking about the first basic set. Okay, so fire, water, steam. When you see some of the movies of Osensei, uh, that's what he's doing there. When you see him twirling his, his stick, uh, uh, not all of it, but a lot of it was his fire, water, steam time. In fact, he used to start the class off with fire, water, steam. All right, uh, but hoping that they're uh, 
functioning unit that was present at the moment, whatever was there at the moment, and their eye, fire, water, steaming, that would help make a, a decent unit. Are you with me so far? Fire, water, steam is an alchemy. <laughs> okay. Uh, steam is also a cleanser. Uh, so anyway, the fire, water, steam forges them together very nice. Okay. And uh, cleanses them a bit. And now you have a very, very nice unit. We need a name. And, and uh, that unit is also kind of open. The steam helps it kind of be a unit, but kind of open. It's almost ready to move into the next set. Okay? Whew. So all this forging that, if you ever read anything on Sensei, you'll see it. All this fire, water, steam, that's very important to him. And he wants to get it across to y'all. Fire, water, steam. Uh, birthing is a word he would use right here, where uh, the unit, the eye is present, fire, water, steam, forging them together, uh, birthing is right there. Misogi. So fire, water, steam will cleanse. Anytime an eye, easy, 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 ah, experiencing myself, aware of myself as I, Anytime it's sort of balanced, it moves into the next dimension of I. We're on an I run now. And just the very fact that it does that, it's a bit cleaner. <laughs> anyway, cleansing is not as hard as it might sound. Uh, the, the steaming will help and the I moving to larger places, automatically being cleansed. When the I enters a functioning unit, uh, along the way, the functioning unit, rem remember the stuff is finer. And so it mixed up a finer unit. When the eye inhabits that for the experience, it's also being affected by experiencing finer. It'll, it'll know, oh, I don't have to do any of those jobs, but I'm, I want to experience different things. It, it knows that. You get it in tight enough, small enough, it doesn't remember. Okay? Hopefully when we give the eye a turn, eventually it'll realize its true job, and it won't keep interfering improperly. It's not a bad guy. There's just a little confusion as to who's who and what's what. <laughs>